welcome back to Epic Week 2023. We're counting down to 2024 and we are on day four. And today we're gonna talk about Epic Leverage. There are so many amazing parts to the Epic Grade and so many ways you can leverage it to make your community stand out in your marketplace. So Leah's gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about some of those opportunities and ideas. Yeah, so I think it all starts with our exchange platform, Carla. Mm -hmm. um, you really need to know what you're working with. You need to yeah. know sort of how you stack up against others that are in your area, others that you're sharing traffic with, um, others that when a prospect says, oh, I have a couple of other places that I want to check out. Who are those places, right? Who are those communities? And what are they maybe, um, what do they have over you? Or how are they positioning themselves? So the competitor analysis report, this is that key piece to gaining that competitive intelligence. Uh, again, if we're sharing traffic with other communities in our area, what do those other communities look like? not just amenities, right? Not just price, uh, but the really sort of important details that are gonna set you apart or maybe even set your competitor up, you know, to have an advantage over you. So the company comparison report and the property comparison report are two tools inside of Exchange that can really help you gather that kind of intelligence to put better position your communities. For the property comparison report, when you log into Exchange, you can add up to 20 communities that you consider to be competitors. Uh, and what we'll do is we will help you stay on top of what their EPIC grades and their EPIC index looks like. So we'll have the overall grade, all four of those components as well. And if you export this data, not only will you get the information that you're looking at on this screen, you'll get a breakdown of their renter rating. So what is their noise rating? What's their maintenance rating? Their uh, survey scores. If they participate in Satisfax surveys, you're gonna get a complete breakdown of the renter rating score itself. So it's not just gonna have that 4.28, it's gonna show you where that 4.28 comes from. And that right there is the key because mm -hmm. Carla's gonna show you what you can do with that breakdown. Absolutely. You know, when we're marketing, we always lean into some of the amenities and the options that we share with our competitors, mm -hmm. right? I have a beautiful pool. You have a beautiful pool. I've got a great fitness center. They've got a great fitness center. <laughs> and we're trying to distinguish ourselves and have ourselves stand out in the market with maybe our branding or our terminology but what we have found to be even more impactful than your amenities and your branding with renters is your Epic ratings. And it's not just the letter grade, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got an A Epic grade. Congratulations. That's amazing. But I'm a renter who works from home and I need it to be quiet. So what if instead of advertising that overall that you have, you know, a quiet community, you back that up with that social proof and you put in that you're rated 4.5 on apartment ratings for quietness. I know we call it noise, but really the higher the rating, the quieter the community, right? So it's a 4.5 for quietness. Or maybe it's really important to me that you have a very good maintenance team. Maybe I, I lived in a community before where the maintenance just wasn't cutting mustard, right? So now I'm looking for a community. I want to know how well that maintenance team is doing. You can advertise that you've got a 4.9 for maintenance or that you're ranked number three in the city or number 10 in the state. That's something that's so unique to you and really resonates with your renters. So not only can you advertise your ratings, but you can track using the competitor uh, your 
your competition, right? Uh, you can even add all of that to your market surveys so that not only do you know how you stack up against the competition, but I know you share those market surveys with your regional team, and I know you share those market surveys with your pricing team, so they can also see how you stack up against your competition. It's a really great index to help leverage and help you stand out against that competition. Yeah, I think this is one of the most powerful pieces about the Epic Index because for marketers, um, and I'm I'm a marketer, Carla, mm -hmm. you were in marketing as well prior to your mm -hmm. role here. As marketers, we tend to lean on the tangible. Right. We have a beautiful swimming pool. We have, you know, soaring 15 foot ceilings or, you know, those those types of um aspects and features of an apartment community itself. But for your renters, remember on day two, we talked about that macro level and getting you out of that research phase. For renters, I've seen the pools. I've seen, you know, the, the fitness centers. I've seen everything, you know, that I could possibly see in terms of a physical feature. I've seen all that when I'm researching online. Tell me about your maintenance. You know, tell me about the office. How quiet is this community? So as a marketing strategy, if you are leading your advertising or supplementing, supporting your advertising with operational data, it makes a big difference. When someone is looking at multiple communities and everyone's talking about the resort style swimming pool and your community is the only one talking about the noise rating or mm -hmm. the maintenance rating. And again, these aren't numbers that you're making up. These are numbers that are coming from real resident and prospect experiences. Exactly. So those kinds of um, those kinds of you know little tricks, if you will, can really move the needle when prospects are looking at multiple options. Mm -hmm. Help you stand out. Yep, absolutely. Anything and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever's going to help. Uh, the tools in that comparison, toolbox. Yes. <laughs> the company comparison works very similar to the property comparison report. This is at the company level. So if you have other companies that are in your space that maybe you are competing against for new business, or it could be something um, that you need data to help with uh, obtaining finance uh, finances, or you know, there's a loan in place, or I mean, we've we've seen it used in a lot of different ways. Uh, this can help you again. Competitive intelligence speaks volumes when you are trying to move your company forward, similar to if you're trying to move your property or your community forward. Mm -hmm. So inside of Exchange, in that competitor analysis report, you can add up to 20 companies that you want to follow as well. They could be new business competitors, market competitors. If you're looking at moving up in the rankings, we see it used for that quite a bit. Say you want to be in the top 50 and you're currently in the 70s or in the hundreds. Put the, co the company that's in your spot on that analysis report. You wanna shoot for number 50? Well, what does number 50 look like? You wanna shoot for top 10? What does that look like? Mm -hmm. Having sort of, you know, a roadmap to follow uh, uh, helps you to create those plans along with our education team to get there. So whether that is, you know, business competitors, market competitors, ranking competitors, you name it. Uh, I This is a really, really helpful feature that's right inside of the Exchange platform. Mm -hmm. And then the leaderboard as Epic, 
uh, is subject to change at any time. As Carla mentioned on day one and day two, Epic is on that rolling 365 day calculation. So you want to stay ahead of what your company looks like, where your communities are ranking. All of this information is found right inside of Exchange. So in that company and property comparison uh, sections of Exchange, but the public also sees it as well. Right there for all, uh, any eyes, right? Any prospects right there on apartment ratings. So as you see the changes take place inside of Exchange, the public sees it as well on the apartment ratings uh, website. And again, one of the key components to the EPIC index is its transparency. Not only its transparency in how it's calculated, but also the transparency in how the rankings are subject to change at any time. We would never say, oh, you're number 15 because we just think you're number 15. <laughs> the EPIC index makes it plain and clear where your companies, where your communities are ranking. Yeah, it's it's very um, transparent. And I think that's something that renters really value about apartment ratings is how transparent we are with EPIC with the rankings, both at their city level where they're searching, also the state level, which we just added, and it's real-time data. Every night, that grade can adjust, and it does update in real time the next day on apartmentratings.com for your prospects to see. Yep, absolutely. So we hope that you'll take a look at your EPIC ranking, take a look at your individual scores for each of those categories for maintenance, for quietness, for grounds, for office, and see how you're doing. And then what we want you to do is participate in our day four contest. Okay, so what you're going to do this time is you're going to go back to our Instagram page or our Facebook page and look for our posts and you're going to add a comment. And what we want you to do is we want you to comment with the most creative idea for using that Epic Index. How can you position your community or company differently than your competition. Maybe create a cute ad and post it there or do a comment with what you would do or what data you're going to use. So we're gonna look forward to seeing all of those comments on our Facebook and Instagram page. And again, our judges are gonna be standing by and they're gonna select their favorite one, the one that really utilizes that data and leverages that data to help their community or their company stand out. We're gonna award them a gift card. That Those comments, we want them done by the end of the day. We look forward to seeing that. And we look forward to seeing you back for day five. It's our last day of Epic Week. And of course, rightfully so, we're going to do our Epic Celebrations on day five. We're looking forward to seeing you there. Leah, it's going to be epic. Is epic. What it's going to be epic. So get ready to blast off into 2024 with us. We'll see you on day five. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.